480 horsepower. I do miss the manual gearbox in this car. And this is one of the first times ever I'm saying this about a BMW M car. Now today I'm recording a video with a very special BMW. Here we have the 2015 BMW M4. But this is not just a regular M4. No, this is a replica of the M4 DTN championship car that Marco Whitman won his championship with in 2014. To celebrate his championship, BMW decided to make these replicas and they only made 23 of these. Because 23 was the racing number of Marco Whitman. Out of these 23, some of them are even more special than others. And this is one of those. Because this car is signed by Marco Whitman himself. And not all these special editions, not all these replicas have been signed by him. And I've borrowed this car right now from private collection cars in Rotterdam. They have a great inventory of great cars, supercars, sports cars, whatever you want. They'll find it for you. So I'll put a website in the description below. But the previous owner of this car was the mechanic in the racing team where Marco Whitman was driving. That's already more special than the other 22, let's say. Now you already know how much I love carbon fiber, right? Some wing end plates for a bit more downforce, especially on high speeds. When you turn in, the car turns in a little bit better. This is optional, it's not standard. Carbon fiber all over here, very nice. Of course, the carbon fiber mirrors and carbon fiber lip. Also on high speeds, it just creates a little bit more downforce. The car is a bit more stable. We have the carbon fiber rear diffuser over here. Oh, did I already mention private collection cars in Rotterdam? Since the E90 or the E92 models, the M cars uh, always had a carbon fiber roof to reduce the weight. It's also very strong, but also to have less weight on the top of the car. So the lower all the weight of the car is, the better it is for the handling. The brakes of M cars were known always for not being very good. Of course, the latest models are improved a lot, but especially this M4, I like this very much, ceramic brakes. Don't care about any heat, no fading, doesn't matter. So you can drive all day on track, no problem. Let's take a look inside. So directly here you see you're welcomed with the M4 logo. In case you have more M cars and you by accident just get in one and you forget which M you are in. Like every M car, it's just lovely to sit in one of those. The seating position is very good. You might know already, that's one of the most important things for me. Um, if I get into a car, I directly try to have the best seating position possible. Almost a racing position. And this is very close as you can see right now, to a racing position. A lot of carbon fiber in here. Very nice, the carbon fiber trim. And here, you also have a signature of Marco Whitman, DTM champion 2014. And this car is number 21 out of 23. In the older M cars, also in my M3, the E46, the seats were not that good. They, they were kind of comfortable, but they didn't give you a lot of support. In here, it's completely fine. So if you're going very fast through corners, you don't have to worry to, uh, to slide too much, let's say. The Alcantara steering wheel, that's also very nice. I think it's the best material to have on a steering wheel. It just feels perfect. You have good grip. The M4 has a 3-liter, 6-in-line engine, twin turbo, producing standard 431 horsepower. But this one is a little bit tuned up till 480, almost 480 horsepower. I think that's exactly the right amount of power for this car. From my point of view, as a person who likes natural aspirated engines, it is kind of a shame that the engine sizes are getting smaller. Of course, they are faster with the turbos, but remember the one before this one, the E92 M3, the V8? That thing sounds amazing. It does sound better than this car. Some notes 
of the engine sound are also being produced inside the car through the speakers. So you have a bit more, bit more adrenaline, a bit more drama in the car going on, although it's not completely real. Welcome to Pure Drive. I do miss the manual gearbox in this car. Okay, so let's directly put it in manual. We'll turn the traction control off directly. Now you can set the different parts of the car, so the steering, the suspension and the throttle response. For example, the steering, Sport Plus, Sport or Comfort. Let's just keep steering in the middle, so Sport we'll choose. The suspension, we're on the track now, so Sport Plus, very stiff, so we have a bit more grip. And the throttle response, let's do that also on Sport Plus. So. If you already hit a little bit of throttle, then the car reacts really quick. Maybe a bit snappy. And when you change the settings of the steering wheel, you directly feel uh, it's being heavier. So you have to put a bit more force to turn the wheel. What? 
the M4. Okay, obviously I wanted to say stiffer than the normal 4 series. But hey, okay, let's continue. That's quite a big difference. And you feel that directly. The chassis is very stiff, which gives you quite some grip. The gearbox is very fast in Sport Plus mode. It also, and it breaks really well. And this is one of the first times ever I'm saying this about a BMW M car, that it has good brakes. It gives you some trust, it gives you a good feeling. Exactly what you need with a fast car, good brakes. And finally, BMW M cars have some good brakes. out. 